everyone, and welcome to the fourth and final episode of the ASL Apprentice series. Today we will be learning how to sign different animals. What better way to learn the signs of the animals than to go on an animal adventure? Now, to help us go on an animal adventure, we're going to need an adventure tool. So this tool that we're going to be using is binoculars. Binoculars help you see animals from a far away distance, but close up. So what do we need to make these binoculars? Well, today we're going to be using two cardboard rolls. So this is a paper towel roll that I cut in half. You'll need a rubber band to stretch over the cardboard tubes, some stickers or decoration items, and colored pencils, markers, or crayons. So today I'll be decorating my binoculars with a paint dauber. But as I'm decorating them, we'll be going through the different animal signs that I'll be teaching you today. So let's go ahead and get started with decorating. So the first sign that we're gonna learn today is dog. The sign for dog, you start out with your fingers, like you're gonna snap, and then you snap them into a G. So dog, dog. Now try it with me. Ready? Dog. Now let's keep coloring. So the next sign we'll be learning is the sign for cat. So think about the cat's whiskers when you sign this animal. So this is cat. Ready? Try it with me. Cat. Awesome. Now that we've learned that sign, let's keep decorating. So now, instead of the red dauber, I'm gonna use a different color just to mix it up a little bit. All right, so the next animal that we'll learn how to sign is bird. So think of the bird's beak when you sign this um, animal. Bird, bird. Now let's try it together, ready? Bird. Now let's get back to decorating our binoculars. I'll take a different color again this time. And like I said in the beginning, you can use any sort of color to decorate your binoculars. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, or whatever you'd like. So the next sign that we'll be learning how to do is horse. So we'll think of the horse's ears when we do this sign. Ready? Horse. Horse. Now let's try it together. Ready? Horse. Awesome. Our next animal that we'll learn how to sign is the sign for monkey. So this one, you're gonna use both of your arms and you're just gonna act like you're a monkey, like this. Ready? Now try it with me. And that's the sign for monkey. Now we're gonna add some stickers onto our binoculars. This is just my form of decoration that I wanna use for my binoculars to show them off. The next sign that we're gonna learn is donkey. Now, this sign is similar to the sign for horse, but this time we're gonna use all four of our fingers and pretend that it's our ears. Ready? Donkey. Donkey. Now, let's try it again, but try it with me this time. Donkey. Awesome, you're doing great. Now, just keep decorating. Our next sign that we'll learn how to do is the sign for elephant. Now this one might seem a little familiar to what an elephant looks like. So elephant, elephant. So this is the sign that resembles the trunk of the elephant. Ready, now let's try it together. Elephant, awesome. Our next sign that we'll learn how to do is mouse. So we're going to use our pointer finger and touch our nose. So this is the sign for mouse. Mouse. Ready? Now let's try it together. Mouse. All right. So I'm using stickers that have the different animals on them and I'm also using other decorations like rainbows and clouds just to make my binoculars that much cooler. Our next animal that we're learning how to sign is the sign for fish. Ready? Fish. So this is the movement of the fish while it's in the water. Ready? Try it with me. Fish.
Good job. We're gonna use another color for our, our binoculars as well. The next sign that we're gonna learn how to do is the sign for snake. And we have a lot of those in New Mexico, right? So the sign for snake is putting your two fingers like this in front of your mouth like the snake's fangs and moving it out in an S formation like the snake moves. Now let's try it, ready? Snake, snake, awesome. Another sign that we're gonna learn how to do is the sign for tiger. So this sign is pretty cool because we're gonna be taking it from the middle of our face and going out like the tiger stripes. So ready? This is tiger, tiger. Now let's try it together, ready? Tiger. Awesome. Good job. I bet your binoculars are looking awesome right now. I can't wait to see. The next one that we're going to be doing is the sign for lion. Now this one's going to resemble the lion's mane that is on their face. So the sign for this is lion. Lion. Ready? Now let's try it together. Lion. Awesome, you're doing great at learning these animal signs. The next sign that we're gonna learn how to do for an animal is the bunny sign. So this one, you're gonna use both of your hands. Cross your arms like this, and then move your two fingers towards your body. This is the sign for bunny. Ready? Try it with me. Bunny. Bunny. Good job. The next sign that we're gonna learn how to make is turtle. So this one is also gonna use both of your hands. So take your right hand and put it into a fist like this. Make sure your thumb is pointing towards the front of your hand. Then put your other hand on top. So this is like the shell of the turtle and this is like its head. So this is the sign for turtle, turtle. Now try it with me. Take your right hand, put the left one on top and move the front of your finger. Turtle. Awesome. Good job. Let's get finished with our binoculars because we're almost done learning. So our last sign that we're going to be learning is the sign for alligator. Now this one's pretty cool because we're going to take both of our hands and we're going to clasp them together like alligator. Alligator. Like the mouth crunching on the alligator. So we have learned all of those animal signs today. And we've also made some very cool binoculars. Our last step is going to be taking the rubber band from our binoculars and putting them together. So once you put the binoculars into the rubber band, then you have some stylish, cool adventure tool to take with you to go look for those different animals. So see, this is how you would use them. You can pull them apart to adjust them to your eyesight so that you can see your animal closer to you. It's pretty cool, right? And here's a close-up of our cool binoculars. Ready? So they have all the different decorations. They have some stickers, but most importantly, it has our rubber band connecting them at the bottom. So now we've finished our binoculars and we're ready and prepared with all the necessary tools that we need to go on this animal adventure. And in the previous episodes, we've also learned our ABCs, our numbers, and different colors to help us along our way through our adventure. So thank you for becoming an apprentice of ASL with me. Take all that you've learned from the past episodes and use them to teach others about the different signs for ASL. Thank you. Bye.